Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I want to talk to the single folks. Why are you in a relationship that you know ain't working out? God did not intend for you to be miserable or for you to be abused, to be cheated on or lied to. So my question is, why are you still staying in there? And look, I don't care how you say, well, you know, I'm going to pray about it and I'm going to wait on God. No, God has already given you a sign. Listen, ladies, don't allow your boyfriend to make you miss meeting your husband. Also, guys, don't allow your girlfriend to make you miss you being with your wife. Understand, true love that God has intended for you is not going to be problematic. God is not the author of confusion nor drama. But also what happened is so many times, especially those that are professing to be believers in the church, when it comes down to them dating, they're so busy in trying to keep that person that they end up missing who God has for them, but also what God has for them. The Bible tells us the man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. That means you as a good man matching up with the one that God has intended for you and it's, it's going to equal favor from the Lord. But you look at and evaluate that relationship that you're in. You have a problem, drama, and trauma. Is it favorable? Is that favor from the Lord? No, it ain't. You got to beg that person to come to church with you. Man, look, look, I'm just going to be real with you. True love doesn't hurt. Also, someone that really love you, you ain't got to make them or teach them about your heart. You ain't got to have them to learn, you know, how to treat you. No, no, no. You need maturity. You need a mature person, but also you got to make sure that you're mature enough to recognize if this person is or is not for you. But what happened is so many times when you end up holding on to someone and you know how they are, but instead of you watching those red flags to take a heed to those red flags or even listening to God, what happened? We end up idolizing people, especially the people that God did not ordained for us. And you know what happened? They end up becoming your God. You would listen to them instead of the true living God. And what happened? Guess what? It won't work out. You end up being miserable. Eventually, I'm going to tell you, eventually, it ain't going to work out. Eventually, it's going to end. But at what cost? Look, how much are you going to have to lose in order for you to end that relationship. You have to be the one to end it. Don't wait upon that other person to end it. You have to be the one to end it. Understand. You want a relationship that's going to be honorable towards God. You want to eventually get married. So why are you with someone who ain't even committed to you? Don't want to be committed to you solely. Why? Look, I don't care how good you think you are towards that person, that person ain't going to change. You know what that person is doing? That person is buying time. That person is buying time for them to be able to be linked up to someone. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to eventually stop calling you. They're going to start disrespecting you more. They're going to start <laughs> just acting crazy, making excuses for fights. You know, one of the key things that's often lost in the first sign of an ending of a relationship is respect. So, why is that person disrespecting you? Because they know that they can get away with it. But you have to stand up and say enough is enough. You got to understand who you are. You are God's child. You are God's son and God's daughter. There are so many people right now, right now, that's on the verge of being with the husband that God has intended for them. But the stumbling block is you got to get rid of that person that you chose. God didn't choose them for you. You chose them. You have to be the one to say, hey, um, this relationship ain't working out and let's end it. And not no, well, let's just be friends. Uh-uh, no, you need to end it. You need to end it. End it. And look, I love you enough to tell you the truth. 
it's best for you to go ahead and listen and take heed to these warning signs. Take heed to these red flags. Like I said, think, you, think about this. Think about this. If you really want to know if this is a relationship that you should be in, ask yourself, did you wait all your life for a love like this? And if you say no, then when are you going to end it? Like I said, don't wait for that other person to end it because what if that other person don't want to end it? And, hey, what if that person say, well, you know what? Uh, uh, I, I, I do love you. I do love you. Yeah, but it has to be both ways. Look, you can't stay with someone for convenience because understand, when it comes down to your relationship, it's also attached to the purpose and plan God has for you in every area of your life. You don't want to be with someone that you know ain't compatible with you spiritually, mentally, emotionally. So look, stop playing games with yourself. You already know. I don't care how many other people that you have to talk to or even pray for you. You already got your answer. Look, but also the thing is, God will tell you, hey, if that's what you want, hey, here, here, take it, take them. But you got to understand, you got to deal with the consequences of your choice. So this is the time for you to be able to seek God, talk to God about everything and even asking God for strength. I'm going to tell you something. I did this a couple of years ago and this is me being very transparent. I was in a relationship before and I asked God, God, is this the one that you're going to have that's going to lead to marriage for me? Or is this someone that is going to continue to mistreat me, do me wrong? I said, God, if this is the right relationship, you work everything out. But God, if this ain't the relationship you have for me, you take the taste of her out of my mouth. I was fasting and I was praying. I fast and pray. I was real with God. And also, I'm going to be honest with you. I even called my first lady. I didn't talk. Now, my, first of all, my first lady is my aunt. So it wasn't just someone that was going to be, you know, trying to move in and try to take me. No, this was someone that I respect. Someone that's been married for, you know, for many years at the time, maybe 45, maybe 50 years. I don't, I don't remember. But when I began to really just confess every one of my faults pertaining to that relationship I was in. And like I said, this was years, years, years ago. So what I did was I told my first lady, hey, I'm repenting and I don't want you to pray for me. I want you to pray with me. I'm going to do my part. I fast and I prayed and I said those things to God. And the next morning I woke up and it was like a brand new day. I woke up, everything was just so bright, so clear. And then I looked and my phone rung and it was that girl. And I looked and I felt nauseated. I felt nauseated. God was letting me know this ain't the one. And then eventually it was revealed. It was revealed. She ended up confessing to me. She was doing some things. She was doing some things she knew that wasn't right. She was doing some things without going to detail. You know, she was doing some things and it could have actually brought a lot of hurt and damage to me. But I thank God God loved me enough to not only show me the red flags, but give me the strength to take heed to it. You know, so God not going to make you do something you don't want to do. God not going to go against your will, but you got to be real with yourself. Not just be real with God, be real with yourself. Everybody knows, but you have to accept those answers for yourself. Nobody can do it for you. So as we get ready to pray, you know everything that God has promised you. But like I said, you can't make somebody fit in to somewhere that God did not authorize them to be in. So if you want someone to leave, you God can't give someone a uh, trespassing, a uh, 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 spiritual or uh, any type of trespassing uh, ticket. When you keep giving them the keys to your heart. So, like I said, as we get ready to pray, you know your situation better than you. Give it to God 
and take heed to what he tell you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we're coming to you right now. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We're coming to you right now, God, we acknowledge your presence on today. we speaking right now, God. There are those right now that are watching this video, God. They may be on the fence of what they should do or what they shouldn't do. They may be fearful of what you are showing them. So God, I'll be speaking right now, God, that you minister to them right now, God, that you catch their attention to help them understand right now, God, what they need to do, God. Give them the answers, God. Give them the clarity right now, God, to help them understand if this is the right relationship or if this is the wrong relationship that they are in right now. So God, I'll be speaking right now, God, that you help them, God, that you even remove any spiritual clog, a spiritual wax that may be in there ears or even any spiritual self that may be on their eyes, God. Help them to see clearly and respond in obedience right now in the name of Jesus. And we bind everything the devil stand for. We counsel the devil's assignment right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we even speak right now, God, that we break every soul ties right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for strength. We thank you, Lord, for courage. We even speak right now, God, against any and ever abuse right now. In the name of Jesus, <clears throat> God, be speaking, God, for wisdom, God. God, be speaking, God, that you help them right now, God, to execute what you planned right now, God. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, we thank you, Lord, for safety, God. We thank you, Lord, even for marriages, God, coming out of this, God. We thank you, Lord, for healthy relationships coming out of this right now. In the name of Jesus, but most importantly, your perfect will being done in their lives right now. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, even for spiritual growth right now, God. God, we thank you, Lord, even for having our best interest at heart right now, God. We thank you, Lord, for even to have a closer walk with you, even pertaining to matters of the heart right now. In the name of Jesus. And we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> I thank you for watching this video and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.